Hinata Shoyo is on his last leg, and Okua Toru is nowhere near helping him out with his situation. Private messages between Okua Toru and Hinata Shoyo. Chibi-chan. 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 Don't ignore me I'm stressing out here. Hinata Shoyo is online. I'm here. Calm down Okua Sanji's. What took you so long? I'm angry but not really face. I have a life too you know Okua San. So what is it this time? Ahoho are you finally starting to get interested in my stories about Iwa Chan? I mean do I have a choice? Rude. Besides, I'm pretty sure today's story is going to be worth hearing. Probably just you squealing over how your precious Iwa Chan sent you a good morning text with an emoji or something. Hey. I found that sweet excuse you. So is it one of those stories again? Ugh what happened to my Chibi Chan who was always so eager to hear my stories I thought you were my ally face. Anyways while you were right that Iwa Chan sent me another good morning text with an emoji. What emoji was it? I was about to say something about it but it was a thumbs up. I ah has just just okay why did I find that a little funny? Rude. We went from a smiley face emoji to a thumbs up. You're making real progress there Okua san skull. This bitch. Okay I must admit your story today did not disappoint Okua san. You've been hanging out with your salty friend Tsukishima too much. Pfft I haven't even seen him for 3 months. What are you talking about? That's not the point. Iwa chan sent me a thumbs up today and I don't know how to feel. Oh that was all? I thought he did something else to make you get all this excited? I was excited until your snobby ass decided to point out the thumbs up emoji he sent I'm angry at you face. Alright alright sorry. What was the oh so special thing that your Iwa chan did exactly? He sent me an encouraging text during my lunch time. Okay. And what did he tell you? Well, he told me good luck today your amazing reversed hand with middle finger extended. Pfft did he send you that emoji? Yes please kill me now. Did he at least try to correct himself? Maybe it was a typo or something. Yes. Wait. Don't tell me. I don't know what to do anymore face it was a thumbs up emoji. Yes. Skull. Don't laugh at me Chibi Chan. Iwa Chan's been giving me mixed signals and I don't know if I should confess to him or not. What's stopping you from telling him? Didn't you used to flirt with him back in high school or something? That's because he never really took me seriously in high school okay? It's different this time. So you would confess to him if he took you seriously? It runs deeper than that Chibi Chan. I just need you to listen to my hopeless pining until I eventually move on from him please. Please listen to me I'm trying to be cute face. Now you gotta figure this out on your own Okua San. Ugh. Aren't you in the same boat as I am? You're also hopelessly pining over Tobio Chan right? Smirking face. I'm leaving. Wait. Okay fine if I tone down my pining will you at least talk to me when I need it the most? Chibi Chan. Chibi Chan. Don't ignore me please. Calm down. I'm here. Look. I don't think I'll be able to help you out with your hopeless pining over Iwazumi san but if I add you to a group chat with other people will you blow their ears off instead of mine? Oh. Eyes. Who are these people in your group chat exactly? I am interested in the tea now. You probably know them as well so calm down. Hinata Shoyo added Okua Toru to the group chat. Since we're adding people to the group chat let me add someone too. Wait I never agreed to this. Don't worry Saken. He's a trusted friend. He won't expose your crush on Atsumu. Uh, what's this group chat? Welcome to our little group Okua san. You can discuss your hopeless pining over here where a lot more people can listen to your rants. Uh, so does this mean that everyone in this group chat also has a crush on somebody? TCH. What's his deal? Boy problems. Specifically Mia Atsumu. Jujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujuj
Besides, how are we so sure that you're the real Kenma Kozun? Or should I say Kodzukan? First of all, why are you using those old emoticons? Second, the only people who know my personal number are Shoyo and Bakuto-san since I trust them. He's right. Third, I'm not that famous, excuse you. Hard to believe that Kenma-san when you have over 3 million followers on YouTube alone. Hi. Who are you? This is Sakusa Kiyumi, one of our wing spikers Kenken. Ah, the one that the MSBY fan club drools over along with me are. We have a fan club. They have a fan club. I don't know. It keeps popping up in some of my socials. Okay. They are mostly Twitter accounts drooling over them. Hi. In any case it's nice meeting you all but I think you added the wrong person here Bakuto-san. I don't have a crush on anyone but since I'm already here why not stay for the ride right? You sure you don't have a teensy tiny little bit on a certain someone? Yeah Kenma-san. I can understand you mistaking me for having a crush on Kiru or something but it's just that we've gotten so comfortable towards each other okay? Our relationship is completely platonic. Nothing more. Platonic. The Instagram pics of you two that Kiru posts does not scream platonic at all. You don't know our relationship that well Okoa-san so it's understandable why you're wrong. Forgive me for being blunt Kenma-san but I'd have to agree with Okoa-san on this one. Guys let him be. Exactly. Sooner or later he might realize his crush on Kiru-san. I. Just like Sakusa's case. I what? Doesn't matter. At least now I have a lot of people to rant about Iwa-chan. Is it too late to leave the group chat? Yes, it is Kenma-san. So what now? We've done the challenge a week ago and it feels like no progress is happening. Uh, what challenge? What's he talking about? Well when you two weren't here yet Sakan over here had some boy problems that needed to be solved. I shut up. Yeah, he was hopelessly pining over Atsumu-san so we came up with a plan to help them get together. Which was, sleeping on your crush's shoulder. Uh, what a very bold challenge Sachan. I, and I'm assuming that you and Bakuto-san also did the challenge to Akashi and Kajima? Yes, it was so embarrassing. Kajim. Shoyo fell asleep for real during the challenge as well. Gasped Bakuto-san stop. Akashi, Akashi Kiji. Yeah, you know him? I recognize his pretty face from Nationals matches back then of course I do. He's so pretty right? Right. I'm assuming he's your crush Bo-chan? Yes. So, challenges ha? Huh? What do you guys hope to achieve with doing these things? We thought that if we did these challenges we might be able to become potential boyfriends to our crushes. Um, not a bad idea actually. Well, since I'm here I might as well help out with your situations right? You don't have a stream scheduled Kenma-san? Now I decided to take a week off, lest I want to catch a certain bedhead's attention again unamused face. Anyways give me 30 minutes to read back on your previous chats then I might be able to come up with a challenge to help you guys. Wait Oiko is a newcomer though. No need, I know information on him because of a certain someone. Hinata Shoyo. I'm sorry. You were just talking too much about Iwazumi san that I needed someone to talk about it okay? I can't believe you've done this face. I'll make it up to you I promise. Fine. I'll take you up on that offer. I got it. Bakuto Katero, Hinata Shoyo, Sakusa Kiyumi and Okoa Toru are online. What is it Kozum san? Please drop the honorifics Sakusa. I'm perfectly fine with you just calling me Kenma. Ah uh, sure. Anyways you all really are a bunch of lovesick morons huh? I. Wait. That's actually a perfect name for our group chat. Don't you guys think? Why do we have to name our group chat exactly? Why not? Exactly Sachan lightened up a bit. Whatever it's a good name regardless since it was Kenma who came up with it. Thank you. Hinata Shoyo changed the group chat's name to lovesick morons. There. Now what was it you were supposed to say Kenma-san? Ask your crushes am I tiring to you? To them and see how they would react. That got angsty real quick. Yeah, is something going on Kenken? What? Nothing I just thought it would be very fitting to our theme. How? Well for starters Bakuto's a big lump of energy and Akashi. And you guys know that Akashi is not really that similar to Bakuto. You think Akashi's getting tired of me? Wait no. I didn't mean it like that okay. Okay maybe I kinda worded it wrong but what if the outcome isn't so bad? Loudly crying face. I didn't think Kenma's first day in this group chat would lead to him making Bakuto cry skull. I Bakuto what if Akashi isn't tired of you actually? Shit how does Akashi do this? Pfft Kenma-san don't mind. Bo-chan what Ken-chan means is that we should use this challenge as a gauge meter if we should make a few tweaks to our behavior when we're around our crushes, huh? Think of it as a way to know if we need to try and change some aspects that your potential boyfriend might find annoying, you know? You mean I can use this to make certain adjustments so Akashi won't get tired of me? Pretty sure he'll never get tired of that bubbly personality of yours but just to be safe why not just ask him? It'll probably hurt if things go south but at least we can start from somewhere in trying to impress our crushes right? Alright fine, I'll agree to the challenge. Oh thank fuck I thought I would have to deal with an emo Bakuto. Anyways, is everyone up for the challenge? Question, how does this relate to me and Okoa-san exactly? I can understand Hinata cause he has the energy of god knows what but me and Okoa-san look like we don't have the energy level as these two have. Okoa's situation is a bit complicated from what I know. Iwazumi-san sends you good morning texts, right Okoa-san? Yeah, and he somehow changes the emoji which is giving you mixed signals? Aa you even told him that Shoyo? I'm sorry. Ugh I'm completely exposed anyway so yeah. He never really took me seriously when I flirted with him in high school because he always thought it was my shtick. I'd flirted with some of my fangirls back then and he'd always see it as a way of me trying to practice flirting when I did it to him. Oof can't blame him for thinking like that. Meme Ken-chan. You should be consoling me I'm dying out here. 
Which brings me to my second point. Okua-san is also a bundle of energy. He just knows how to hide it and unleash chaos on his childhood best friend. He can use this challenge as a means of setting the playground to see if he can complete his mission. This isn't a video game Kenma. You know what I mean. Maybe I can use this as a way to ask him if all of the stupid shit I've done to him has been tiring him out and he's just too nice to say it right. Kenma-san's challenge really did a number on us huh? Hey I never said you should do it but like one of your members said you can't keep living in a constant state of what ifs right. Besides getting into a relationship doesn't only focus on the positive aspects. Some of the negative and angsty topics need to be talked about between budding couples too. Since when did you become a couples counselor Kenma? I'm just stating my opinion on the topic. I could be completely wrong with my views but don't you think it's still worth a shot to ask them about this? I mean it does make sense. Seeing as how sometimes I make too many demands. What if Atsumu is just too nice to tell me off? Well you can use this challenge to find out for yourself. Now that that's settled go forth and do thy challenge I guess. Will you be doing it to Kiru as well Kenma? I mean, I didn't really have a plan but I'm kinda curious about his reaction as well. So I guess I'm on board. Great. Let's meet back here when we've finished our challenges. Alright. Kajehina. Hinata was currently waiting for his friends Yamaguchi and Yachi for a planned lunch meetup between them. The three hadn't heard from each other for a long time and figured that today would be a perfect time to catch up on stuff. However the orange-haired opposite hitter was currently preoccupied with something on his mind. So preoccupied that he wasn't able to notice a figure coming in his direction. How am I going to do this to Kajima? He thought to himself out loud, unaware that a certain green-haired fellow was watching him. Should I just tell my crush straight up? Or should I be more discreet about it? He thought, very focused on the challenge that he was going to do. You alright there bud? You seem to be lost in thought. Yamaguchi suddenly spoke up, which surprised Hinata, earning a little laugh from his former clubmate. I I am Yams. How are you? I've been through worse he anyways. You looked so focused earlier. Something on your mind Hinata-kun? Huh? W what do you mean? What I mean is the challenge you've been mumbling to yourself ever since we got here. And who's this crush you've been talking about hum? Smirking face. I are nothing. As much as I want to pry into your life a little bit more I think it'd be best if you figured out your things with a certain someone. Hinata's cheeks flushed red which in turn earned a laugh from the former captain. Not long after, a certain blonde had already showed up to their meeting and also surprised Hinata in the process. You okay Hinata? Why are you suddenly being jumpy? And nothing this is probably from the coffee. Right yeah, the coffee. I've just been drinking a lot of it recently. Hey, does Iwazumi san know about this habit of yours? I agree I'm no expert when it comes to health and all but don't you think it's a bit unhealthy to be drinking a lot of coffee Hinata-kun? Ah don't worry too much about it you two. Of course I've been taking care of myself. This is just a one time thing, I promise. I'll take your word for it, but I swear if you disregard your health. Haha <laughs> Yam still hasn't changed one bit since our third year huh? Agreed, he's still got the blood of the formidable captain of Karasuno. Formidable is a strong word you know. What do you mean? During your time as captain our school ranked third in the nationals. Yeah, that's a huge featuring actually. Yamaguchi chuckled. Yeah I guess so. The trio continued talking amongst themselves while taking their lunch. Catching up on their lives and telling stories that kept them entertained throughout lunch time. Eventually they had to separate and continue on with their day. Bye you two take care. Text me or Hinata when you get home okay? Stay safe. Will do. Bye. The former manager then took her leave leaving behind the two boys to watch her fade into the sea of people. I'll be heading out this way Hinata. I'll see you around okay? Yeah. See you Yameyama. And good luck with that challenge on your crush. Yamaguchi blurted out and followed with a wink. After which he then walked away. Hinata on the other hand froze on the spot and stared at the retreating figure, not believing that he had accidentally exposed himself. Private messages between Kajima Tobio and Hinata Shoyo. Cabs. 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 I'm not stopping until you respond to me. Cabs. Kajima Tobio is online. Jeez will you calm down? I just got out of the shower. Now what do you want? I wanna ask you a question. Is it going to be stupid? Bitch it's not stupid. Stupid. HKLJSGDBSJ. Haha <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Now what do you want? Hinata hesitated. Should he continue with the plan? It's not too late to back out now. Am I tiring to you? The chat box was silent for a while. No signs of Kajima typing were seen on the screen except for the large indicator that the message had been read. As the seconds passed by Hinata started to grow worried. Was it too much? What was his crush thinking about right now? Kajima Tobio is a flying. Upon seeing those words Hinata's hope of being able to be Kajima's potential boyfriend had dwindled. Hinata sighed and tried battling the tears that were starting to form in his eyes. Shut up Shoyo, you shouldn't have expected too much. He said to himself before completely turning off his phone and going to sleep. I will I. Okua Toru was clueless on how he was going to approach the challenge. He had thought about saying it straight up but it felt as if something was holding him back from just texting Hajim about it. Perhaps the fear that once he asks this question, Hajim's response might not be to his liking and in turn devastating him. Stop thinking about those things Toru. You've been best friends for years now. If he was tired of me he would have said something years ago. Right. Surely Iwazumi wasn't hiding any ill feelings towards his childhood best friend? Hello? F to Ikora, are you listening to us? Kora, you've been staring intently at the screen for a while now. Is something happening? 
Okura snapped out of his daze as he heard his friends calling out to him from his device. Ah oh, sorry guys there's just a lot on my mind right now. You mean my Waizumi? Smirking face. Okura's cheeks turned red and his mouth slightly ajar after hearing those words come out of his friend's mouth. Maki and Matson on the other hand snickered at the reaction Okura gave. Ahoho is our former captain daydreaming about his best friend? Smirking face. Shut up Matson. Babe he might just be drooling over his arms right now. The duo laughed while Okura was left with heated up cheeks and a big pout on his face. What if I took a screenshot of your face right now and sent it to Iwezumi? You wouldn't dare. I mean we already took the screenshot, Kora. No stop. Fine. On one condition. Okura groaned. Of course his idiot friends would want something from him. Fine. What? Have you made progress with your operation in trying to get Iwezumi? The duo gave the former captain their biggest shit-eating grin before snickering at Okura as his face became visibly red. Shut up. I'll take that as a number. Seriously, Kora. You've been pining over him since high school and you still haven't made a teeny tiny bit of progress? Shut up. Not everyone is as bold as you two, all right. Maybe we should have done our plan to get them together back in high school, huh? Excuse me. We wanted to lock you up in the gym supply closet in hopes of the two of you getting together. But we couldn't find the right timing until we eventually forgot about it. Okura sat stunned at the revelation from his best friends. What the fuck, guys? Hey, to be fair, we never really did it. Still. Nah, nah, I think Okura's angry cause we never actually did it right. Hum? Maki grinned which in turn flustered Okura even more. That's not what I meant. Sure. You know what? I'm getting tired already. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay don't go daydreaming about Daddy Zumi while walking the streets. PFFT Daddy Zumi. Bye. Okura abruptly ended the call and lied down on his bed. His mind was still plagued with intrusive thoughts on the possible things Iwezumi might say once he asks a question. You know what fuck it I'm asking him. Okura then grabbed his phone on the nightstand, immediately looking for Iwezumi's contact and pressed the message button. As the chat box interface appeared he then typed away the question, his thumb hovering above the send button. He started to second guess himself but then convinced himself that it was all going to be fine. Private messages between Okura Toru and Iwezumi Hajime. Am I tiring to you? Iwezumi Hajime is online. Well good evening. To you too. What's with the question? Is this like a game show or something? I'm serious. Iwa-chan. I'm serious too Ikora. Why the fuck are you asking this stupid question? Because you know. What do I know? You don't think I'm too much or too annoying? Huh? Iwa-chan please I just need to know. What made you ask this question first? Did someone from your team make you feel like shit? Because if that's the case then I would gladly fly to Argentina and give him a piece of my mind Ikora. No that's not it. Then why the sudden stupid question? I don't know. Okay. I just wanna know if I'm starting to become a burden or something. Huh? A burden? Who told you that? No one. It's just Ugg, can't you just answer the question please? Fine. No you are not tiring. You were never tiring and you'll never be tiring to hang out with okay? I've been your best friend for god knows how many years already. If I got tired of you I would've done something about it years ago. Okura felt like a large thorn from his chest was removed when he read those words from his crush. He had mentally prepared himself for the worst but he was glad that it never really came. Do you get it now? That's my answer Shitakura. Stop trying to tell yourself that you're a burden because you're not. You never were and never will be got it. Okura smiled. Iwezumi does have a way with his words. Heh thank you Iwa-chan. Really. Just tell me if one of your teammates is being a bitch. I won't hesitate to kick their asses. Okura let out a huge laugh as he read Iwezumi's text. Whoa there big boy calm down I'm fine really. Good. As an athlete you need to make sure that your mental health is also in great shape. Okura smiled. Maybe he'd have a chance after all. 